Good afternoon, everybody. God bless you all, name by name, person by person. There's so much death in the earth today. So many friends and loved ones, close associates, peers, children. It's heavy on our thoughts. When somebody asks you, how are you doing? They're basically asking you, how are you dying? They say, how are you dying, baby? Oh, I'm dying pretty good today. Or I'm not dying so good today. There's a point to each of us, death. And after that, the judgment. But remember, don't let the word judgment scare you. Jesus said, go into the vineyard and work and whatever is right, not, ever, not whatever is wrong. Whatever is right, I will pay you. Sean is rejoicing in the presence of the Lord. The scripture says, the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and adds no sorrow. That word sorrow doesn't mean sadness. It means toil. No hard work. When you're blessed of the Lord, you don't really have to work hard. We add the, sor the sorrow. But working for the Lord, there's an anointing on you. They're called the anointed paste sisters. The word anoint means from its Hebrew roots to, to sling or smear or smudge or wipe or pour oil that has come from olives that have been crushed. Gethsemane, the crushing of the semen or the seed. That oil greases you down, lubricates the soul. So when hard times come, even death can keep its hands on you because you slide right on through. She slid right on through and she's in the presence of the Lord. The first time I met her, uh, Demetrius Alexander, who's Cece's uh, m uh, manager, invited me to Nashville. And the last one to sing before they had me to speak, this was over 30 years ago, was Shauna. I'd not heard of her. And uh, she got up, and the first thing she did was kick off her shoes. And I said, now she better do something so she doesn't kick them shoes off. Because I'm going to throw one of them at her if she don't sing right. She jumped so many octaves and sang... Uh, I know I've been changed. She opened up with that, and I just, I wanted to do the benediction and just go home. There was nothing left when she got through, jumping so many octaves. One of the sweetest spirits, heavy, heavy anointing, but never arrogant or never had that diva thing about her, always had that humbleness. She feared God, loved God's word, loved God's people, loved the anointing. It was the most sacred thing to her. We recognized that the last time I saw her alive was at Edwin Hawkins' service, but she, the last time she recorded was in Tulsa. She had just buried Xenia and just came. We, in fact, I called her and said, please don't bother to come. I know you must be grieved. She said, no, Bishop, I'll be there. She came in that night saying, as you're all on the altar, Tremaine it sang, and Sir, uh, uh, Shirley Caesar was there, and Ronzo Pretlo, and Gene Martin. They, they all sang that night. She was the last one on. The song must have gone 17 minutes. We couldn't stop. She was always yielding, and the anointing was so heavy on her. We were all in tears and brokenness and bereavement and yet glory and edification. What a, what a very special presence she was in the earth to see her children, first her daughter shouting, and then the family rejoicing. You pace, folks. <laughs> Only we would do service the way we're doing it today. To the great choir and all the musicians and everybody who made this up, when Sean was a little girl 16 year, 60 years ago and I was a little boy 70 years ago, we would not have ever dreamed, not even of a building like this, let alone all, all the, the technology and the magnificence of the building. She would have never thought she'd be eulogized this way. That's how humble she was. She's rejoicing in heaven. This is big time. Turn to someone and say, I'm in the big time now. <laughs> because this is the new day that we're living in. She saw a lot. I love her, I love her family, I respect the presence of the Lord in her life, the anointing on her life, and I don't know about you, but what would you want the Lord to say? What do you want the Lord to say? Well done, that good and faithful servant, that's what I... What do you want the Lord to say? Come on, sing it quick. What do you want the Lord to say? Well done, good and faithful servant. 